How's it going everybody? This is Ruby, and this is episode 64 of my Feed the Beast Machine tutorial series. Today we're going to be taking a look at the sewer, or as it's called in NEI, the sewage collector. So, there's no real user interface for the sewer. All it's got really is this internal storage for liquid, and then a spot for upgrades. But we'll go over that here in a second. So, if we go ahead and take a look at the building recipe for the sewer, it is three plastic sheets, four bricks, a bucket and then a factory machine block which is just three plastic sheets and three stone now when you do this recipe it actually gives you four sewage collectors or sewers so that is pretty nifty if we go ahead and take a look at the upgrades for this machine you have all these different kinds of upgrades that you can do the first upgrade is the lapis upgrade now the reason you're probably gonna want to upgrade this is because default the sewer only collects in a one by one in front of it so right here on top of the block is the only place that it would actually collect sewage so you'll usually want to upgrade that for your animal pens so here you can see we got you know lapis iron tin copper bronze and so on and so forth with the emerald upgrade being the last if we go ahead and take a look at the building recipe for these emerald upgrades you can see that's just three emeralds three raw plastic and raw plastic is just either the rubber bar or the circular rubber just smelted down in a furnace now all of these share the same recipe like for example this one is three emeralds this one is three lapis or any of the substitutes this platinum one is either shiny or platinum ingots and so on and so forth a neat feature of the sewage collector is that depending on the animal that you have trapped in the uh, in the mob pen, it'll actually produce more or less sewage. So if we go ahead and let's spawn a chicken, this is going to fill up a lot slower. Now if we spawn a cow, it's actually going to fill up faster than this chicken one will. If we just take a look in here, you can see it's not producing very quickly. I think that was a four. And if we look at this one, if we can catch it, 26. So you can see that here, you can still see it kind of glitching out, while in this one you can't. So depending on the mob that you have within or on top of the sewage collector, you'll get different rates of sewage production. So like I said earlier, without any upgrades, the sewage collector only actually checks a one by one, which is right on top of it. For here, we've been having this one run for I would say about five minutes and it's already got a decent amount of sewage collected now if we come over here you can see that I have a much larger uh, pin and if we take a look in here you can see that this is completely filled up so if we just get a tank and we plop that oops down right here if we go ahead and empty this out you can see it produces about three-fourths of a bucket every time it collects like you can see if you watch it how fast it's going up this is because we have a bronze upgrade which is a five radius increase and you can see that we got a decent amount of cows now if all these cows were chickens it would still be producing small a smaller amount because chickens are just smaller animals and they don't produce as much sewage now what you can do with the sewage then is after, after you have it all stored up is you can run it over to something called the composter which we'll be doing a tutorial on at a later time uh, but the composter is pretty useful as well and this is pretty much the only machine that the composter can really work with uh, but it can do some other cool stuff as well but we will cover the composter in another tutorial so you guys may have noticed that we didn't go over a power section for this machine. This is because the sewer actually doesn't require any power. It doesn't take any MJ or any EU. So this machine will just run by itself and you don't have to supply anything with it. But that is going to be the end of this tutorial. If you guys have any questions, please feel free to leave it in the comments below or send me a private message on YouTube. If this video helped you out or if you enjoyed it, Please leave a rating and subscribe as I always have new Feed the Beast videos coming out almost every other day, if not every day. Thank you.